TSH is it just tip of the iceberg before we get into the topic let me just give you a briefing about what exactly is TSH TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone which is the hormone that is being secreted by pituitary gland and not the thyroid gland in fact it just stimulates the thyroid gland and the secretions from thyroid gland which happens to be the thyroid hormones are the ones responsible for the metabolism in every single cell of the body so usually tsh is used as a biomarker to confirm whether a person is going through hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism so whenever a person starts experiencing symptoms like weight gain weight loss constipation dry frizzy hair cold intolerance generally tsh is what is tested for along with t3 t4 anti tpo etc but based on the values of tsh we term a person hypothyroidic or hyperthyroidic but is that the end of it well let me tell you tsh is just the tip of the iceberg and that is because whenever we are trying to treat hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism we are actually just focusing on normalizing the tsh values which in fact is just one of the biomarkers so whenever we keep trying to just normalizing the tsh values up to 30% of the symptoms are being taken care of most often 70% of the thyroid population is still struggling with the symptoms and that is because by just trying to normalize the tsh value we are not trying to focus upon what triggered hypothyroidism at the first place very often there will be a long standing history along with genetic predisposition some of the common causes that leads to hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism is long standing stress change in food habits or sudden change in lifestyle especially sleep and wake up cycle and this causes a disharmony in the body leading to gut and thyroid impairment followed by tri dosha imbalance so when we try treating it ayurvedically this is exactly what is being focused upon as in what triggered it at the first place what happened to the body afterwards and what is the current symptom that is being shown by the body and this is exactly what you mean by retracing the pathophysiological changes in the body with this up to 80 to 85% of the symptoms being experienced by the body despite of having a normal tsh values with the help of synthetic thyroidin pill gets taken care of rest of the 10 to 15% gets taken care depending upon the chronicity and genetic predisposition because if you have been having hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism for a long period then it becomes a task in fact the treatment may go on say for 6 months to 1 year so as to normalize the body and in some cases we may have to continue with the ayurvedic medicines not many of them just the supportive rasayana or rejuvenative medicines for a longer period or lifetime but one thing is for sure your symptoms difficulties will be completely taken care of